Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all, man, before that uh, fight on September the 16th, I'm going down to Los Angeles and I'm going down to the Golden Boy office. And I'm going to personally ask to speak to either Oscar De La Hoya, you know, Roberto Gonzalez, or Bernard Hopkins. Or all three of them motherfuckers. Because it's time they address this shit with these racist emails. And I got to say something. Just like Tiggy said, Max Kellerman is full of shit. He a motherfucking lie. This dude need to stop kissing Oscar De La Hoya's ass. You know what I'm saying? But then again, ESPN showing what a fake ne network they is. These are the same motherfuckers that condemned Floyd for his so-called domestic violence allegations. But these the same motherfuckers that was talking about Ronda Rossi, a woman, could beat up Floyd. They were sitting up, hyping up a fight between a woman and a man. The hypocrisy of fucking ESPN. And these motherfuckers, they gave Oscar pass after pass from his history from just pretty much everything from the cross dressing to the rape allegations to drug driving the the substance abuse but then every time you look around they want to demonize a black person i'm gonna tell you some real talk y'all if black people really got they they head together and they shit together and put they you know got their mind in the right place we could file a class action suit against espn for defamation of character for demonizing a black race and we would win hands down on basically how they c covered up stories, ignored stories with domestic violence with white athletes, but every time a black person got accused of something, they was running the story. It, it would be an open and shut case. Maybe we need to take that route towards ESPN. Because ESPN getting away with a lot of shit. And it's to the point to where you say enough is enough. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Peep game, y'all. Before that fight on September the 16th, I'm going down to Los Angeles. Real talk. And I'm going to walk into the Golden Boy office since ESPN and no other news media outlet want to discuss this shit. Well, sometimes you got to take matters into your own hand. So, like I said, I'm going to ask to speak to one of them motherfuckers and they're going to have to answer why won't they address this situation with the racist emails. And I'm telling you something else. If anybody from Golden Boy show up at that fucking Andre Ward fight in a couple of weeks, I'm 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 running up on their ass and I'm gonna ask them them tough questions because they didn't got away with this for too long. And sometimes, like I said, you gotta be aggressive. It come a time where you can't keep being nice to motherfuckers because nice guys finish last. Nobody don't want to address this shit. People sitting up telling us we need to let it go. I ain't letting shit go. Fuck you, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all. Like I said, Oscar need to remember something. Black people was buying his punk ass pay per views too. He it, it wasn't there just Mexicans buying his fight. Black people was buying his fights too. I remember buying that fight with Trinidad and Oscar De La Hoya just because I wanted to see the fight. So black people was buying his fights too. It wasn't just all Mexicans. Just like. I, that that's a fake narrative making it look like most of the boxing fans is Mexicans because that's bullshit too. Black people love boxing just as much as Mexicans do and black people go to those fights too. Okay? People need to cut the shit and stop pushing these fake bullshit ass narratives and shit. Okay? Because like I told you, I'm not finna be biting my tongue. I don't give a fuck about motherfuckers being offended or being mad because like I say, nobody don't give a fuck about Offended me, so I don't give a fuck about offending you. So fuck you. Fuck whoever you are. Real talk. Like I said, how many passes is this motherfucker supposed to get? So we just supposed to just overlook this shit. Now, because like I say, every time you look around, if a nigga sneeze wrong, they run in the story. Oh, well, so, so and so, he's expected of sneezing too too hard. You know what I'm saying? He got a little bit of spit on somebody's face. So, you just can't do stuff. So, I mean, it's like this, man. We ask motherfuckers to be fair, but motherfuckers don't want to be fair. And see, since ESPN want to act like this shit never happened, fuck ESPN too. With a capital F.
Like I said, man, it's uh, like I said, it's time to take action. Just like Ticket Nim stormed up in the NFL office, acts like, hey, why Colin Kaepernick ain't got a new 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 job? But Blaine Gabbard and, and, and other garbage ass quarterbacks got re signed to another team, but Colin Kaepernick, who could play way better than Blaine Gabbard, ain't got a job. But it's funny. It's mighty strange. Soon as Ticket and LBZ left that NFL office, all of a sudden, Colin Kaepernick got a call from the Seahawks. Hmm. I wonder. So, like I said, I'm not ignoring this shit with the, these emails. It's far from over. Yeah, you motherfucker was just thinking that we gonna give up, right? And you can go run into a bunch of these white supremacist uh, channels complaining about us all you want. Because at the end of the day, you can't stop us and you ain't going to stop us. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Like I said, Max Kellerman, a goddamn lie. He he a goddamn lie on everything. Oscar fought everybody. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and Oscar don't get the credit he deserved. Oh, he getting the credit he deserved for being overrated. Lost every big fight he was in. So he get he right where he is as a boxer. Overrated as fuck. Anyway, I'm out.